Hey everybody, it's DisneyBoy21 here and welcome back to another video and today we'll be reviewing and unboxing the Disney Store Deluxe Singing Doll Rapunzel. If you guys are wondering what these are, they are the new Disney Princess Deluxe Singing Doll sets from the Disney Store released this year. So currently in this line there are five princesses and they are Rapunzel, Ariel, Merida, Tiana, and Aurora. But I do hope the other princesses will get their own release in the next wave, like later this year or maybe next year because this line is pretty awesome and I would really love to see all the other princesses get their own releases as well. And I'm gonna review Rapunzel today but I'm not sure like who's going up first or which order that they will go up because I'm just gonna like binge review all of them at once today and then we'll probably end up editing the footage like a decade later because <gasps> I'm so lazy at editing. And now moving on to Rapunzel herself and one of the many amazing things about this line is that even their boxes and their packaging are like designed so well and so detailed. It just makes you want to keep them in the box because they just look so pretty in there. So the box is designed to look like a storybook. So on the top and the side, you can see the page details here. And in the front, it says Rapunzel at the top with some floral patterns here, little birds and some sewing stuff here like threads and the scissor. And then we have a little picture of a chameleon here. Not exactly um, Pascal, but more like a real chameleon little music notes because she is a singing doll after all and then the flower from the sun and it says I sing troll my hand so we'll get to in about a bit later here is a side it has silhouette of Rapunzel with her long flowing hair it says deluxe singing Rapunzel Disney princess and I think that's in French like chanteur luxe poppe and here is a bag which has a picture of Rapunzel and all the stuff that she comes with her background is paying with her tower in the back and it says magically complete Rapunzel's painting with cold water and then you can open the flip cover by undoing this little velcro thing here which is pretty neat and you can open up and see that there are pictures of Rapunzel and screenshots from the film on the inside of the panel so that's really really nice oh Pascal is so hilarious there mm -hmm. And there he is so right now I'm gonna take her out and we can get a better look and I am back with Rapunzel out of the box and it was kind of tricky to take her out without damaging her box because she was tied in like a lot of places and I was like sweating and holding my scissor and was like where to cut now and <laughs> but eventually she made it out and before I move on to the doll I'll first walk you through the accessories that she comes with so first of all we have her little guitar here that is yellow and it's nicely detailed and the patterns on it are actually sculpted so it looks more realistic and you can even see the strands here the back is just yellow and it pretty much resembles the one we see in the film so it's awfully cute and then next up we have a little paint palette here and again the little paint puddles are actually sculpted on it so it's more dimensional and realistic and then for her paintbrush, it's in her hand. It has a little handle so you can actually put it in her hand. But right now I'm not going to take it off because I just want it to stay in her hand because it looks cute. And then next up we have the adorable Pascal in the little dress that Rapunzel made him. And his expression is like hilarious. He is not enjoying the dress. And you can even uh, see his little tail here at the bottom. And the tail actually helps him stand stably so it's functional. <laughs> I think I'll put him with my limited edition Rapunzel. Looks so cute with her. And next we have Rapunzel's little chest here where she puts her paint supplies and actually does open so once you're done playing you can store the tiny little things in it and close it back. Uh, well probably we can close Pascal in it. <laughs> but it does have a little snap here so you can actually um, close it and push it hard and the little thing will snap and it won't open up so pretty useful and then finally we have Rapunzel's canvas and her easel that do come apart from each other but has little slots here and there for you to put it on but it doesn't actually um, snap and secure so if you move them it will quickly fall back down but other than that it looks pretty cool and it even has a little hook there for you to hang the paintbrush after you're done playing and the box does says cold water will make the painting complete so we will try that out at the end of the video but right now let's move on to Rapunzel so I really 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 love the dress on her because it is like 
so movie accurate for minus some a few details and like this dress i think the only dress that is as movie accurate as this one is the early 2010 version i think that one even has more details than this but other than that the in between rapunzel dolls have been having non movie accurate dresses so she have puffy shoulders that are purple and pink mixed and for her sleeves they are pale pink see-through material and it looks really cute and then in the middle she have a little uh, ribbon and has a lace-up corset details here and her top is detailed with the floral patterns that we see in the <laughs> what is wrong with me that we see in the movie so it's really cute and then moving on to her skirt it's darker purple with the same patterns that we see on her top with more velvety type of material here. And moving on to her face and her hair, so she has a really adorable expression. She is glancing to her right shyly or coyly, and then she is smiling. And then she has some freckles, some blushings, and for the makeup on her eyes, just some simple um, pink eyeshadow here. Nothing more than that, and her beautiful green eyes. And she does have a little boxer action going on on the back, so I did try to comb it a little bit to tame it for the review, but there are some tangled parts down here at the bottom that I can't comb it out, but I have to try a little bit more careful after the video. So, you know, it's kind of ironic when her movie's name is Tangled and most Rapunzel dolls have tangled hair. So. <laughs> The front parts of her hair are gelled a bit to give the little fringe that she have in the film. And then for her, the hair quality wise, I do notice that it's a lot thinner and more rougher than her previous dolls. But it looks a bit better because it shines really, really well in lighting. It's almost reflective as you can see. It does look really well. So here we have my other Rapunzel doll. I think she's a classic doll from 2011. Or 12 please uh, excuse the um, crazy hairstyle that I have given her but as you can see her hair is much more thicker and more softer as like I can feel it and I think you guys can see it as well like for the texture wise like even on the back without the front parts it's really thick and really much more um, softer but color wise I think this one looks better and shines more better and now on to the main event her singing abilities so this year's doll have an all new singing mechanism to them. For the old ones, usually the 17 inch singing dolls have buttons on their hand, minus Anna and Elsa who have the motion sensor thingy, and last year ones have a button on their back where you press them to sing. But this year they have an all new method to make them sing, that is that you have to twirl their hand right here to make them sing, so let's give it a go. Okay, so that's how she sings. You don't have to press a second time. Like once you twirl her hand, she will just sing the whole verse. So this hand, because of the singing mechanism, lost his um, articulation at the elbow. So it's just a straight arm here, while this arm still bends and uh, rotates and everything like a normal one. So um, for the wrist as well, you can only do this and do that. The hand won't uh, turn 360 degrees, so you can either uh, twirl here and twirl that way until a button clicks and she will sing. You can make her like, uh, you know, go all the way around. So that's the little thing. And now let's try and see if she can paint her painting. So the on the tip of her paintbrush, it's a little sponge actually. So you can dip this part in the cold water and that's how you try to paint. So I'm going to dip that in the cold water and then we'll see if she can really paint. Okay, let's try then. So we have Rapunzel here and then her little paintbrush and then we'll try to paint. Ooh, wow, it does work. This is so cool. <gasps> and it works really, really well. Like, not bad pictures, but really clear pictures. Okay, I'm just gonna wet the thing and try here. So I'm gonna try to complete it, but as you can see that it does work. So that's really cool. So there we have it. So after reviewing her, I would give Rapunzel a 4.5 out of 5. And the only thing that I minus the 0.5 is for the hair because it does feel a little bit rough and cheap for. But other than that, she is 
a super an amazing doll and I do have to remind myself at the end of the day that they are meant to be played for kids and all that so that they can always be in top-notch quality but Rapunzel hair is important to her story so I think um, they could have done a better job on her hair but other than that she is really amazing and I do recommend for you to get her if you can. So I'm gonna wrap up my review on the singing Rapunzel doll here and if you enjoyed the video please thumbs up and subscribe and also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at DisneyBoy21 for more photos on these dolls. But right now thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video. So oh and you can see that the water had already dried up now so it's good to know that you can play again and again so yeah I just noticed that so bye. <laughs>